Yo, what's up everyone? This is Tim with Test Demi back live and direct from Houston, Texas. And we're here with another great video for you, 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 you. And we're going to be looking at another data type, which is a great data type. And it's an advanced data type, if you will, in Python. And that's called tuples. Tuples. Kind of get the pronunciation always mixed up. But in any case, let's jump right into it so we can get going. All right. Check it out. So we're looking at tuple. Uh, tuples, uh, if you can see here, this is the syntax you use. It's the open and close parenthesis. Pretty straightforward. Uh, it's also another kind of container, like we looked at list and we looked at dictionary. It's also a kind of container that stores objects in a specific way uh, for your coding. Um, the great thing about tuples also is that uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is that tuples are immutable. Uh, so what that pretty means, uh, pretty much means is that you cannot add, you cannot edit, you cannot modify uh, anything to that actual data type. However you set it, it's pretty much set in stone. Um, oh, you can't actually, in, in addition, you can't even have things removed or deleted. Um, one thing you have to keep in mind when you're looking at tuples, if they're great for uh, when you're looking at ge geographic coordinates, longitude and latitude of a city. Uh, and also tuples can be used in, uh, in dictionaries also. So uh, we're going to look at a few uh, samples of this and kind of jump right into it, okay? And I'm just going to print out, like we've seen in previous videos, I'm just going to print out uh, a pretty straightforward uh, tuple. I'm going to call this an empty tuple. Tuple. We're going to say empty tuple. And it's going to be open and close parentheses. And that's pretty much it, right? And we're going to go ahead and run that. And, oh, sorry. You have to print that. That would be nice empty tuple and there you go so we have our empty tuple here so that's how you get started right you have an empty tuple and you can actually do some more things um let's go ahead and uh, i'm going to go to create a new tuple we're going to actually be working with for most of our demonstration purposes and it's going to be for the city of dallas okay we're going to call this the city of dallas dallas texas all right all right and we're going to go ahead and uh, put this in a tuple because like remember i mentioned with tuples you uh, it's great for longitude and latitude coordinates, and you can't really change that. So that's always you might ask yourself, okay, uh, if I have a tuple that can't really be changed, what's the purpose? I might as well use a list. Well, it's always good if you want to have your uh, keep most of your data uh, when you're actually um, coding or writing a test script. You want to keep certain things uh, uh, as constants and not variables that can change if it were as far as the actual values uh, and items in the container. Uh, tuples are a great way to go with uh, as far as keeping things that are consistent that you know are not going to change. Uh, gives your uh, code some uh, great uh, efficiency purposes there. Uh, so let me go ahead and pull this up here. Um, let me bring up the coordinates I have for Dallas here. Back up. Let's see here. All right. Uh, so for the latitude for the city of Dallas, I'm going to go and put this in a string. All right. That's the latitude. And let's go ahead and put the... Uh, Longitude, longitude in there. Northwest. So that's a, that's the a, uh, latitude and longitude for the city of Dallas. Uh, so if we go ahead and print this, we can say print. Uh, we can say the latitude, the latitude and the the longitude, longitude for the city of Dallas, Texas is all right and we'll go ahead and pass that value to the print function and we can see here it says the long latitude and the longitude for the city of Dallas, Texas is uh, we can actually see the latitude there so that's a great thing for tuples because it can actually be changed uh, another thing you want to keep in mind when you're using tuples if you actually have one value uh, so let's say we have we call this tuple uh, we call this uh, one value you have to put a comma at the end of it, right? That's one thing about tuples. So if you have just one value and we have uh, number 21, right? So if we print one value, let's change this here. When we print one value, we, it's, we also, we definitely want to have a comma after that. That's just the way of convention when you're working with Python and tuples. All right. Uh, so another thing with tuples here is that uh, you can get an index position in a tuple. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, run the ones we have with the city of Dallas, Texas. And let's go ahead and get the index zero for that, right? And it should print out that latitude, which is the 32.79416. Uh, another example in working with tuples is that, uh, like we looked at for lists and dictionaries, you can check if um, 
a keyword is in, uh, excuse me, you can see if a value is in an actual uh, tuple. So we can say north, which you know uh, N is. So we can just say N in, we can say city of Dallas, Texas, and that should print out a true. Uh, well, let's say false. Okay, yeah, because we, okay, I know why it's saying false, right? Because it has it as an entire string, but if we print out the actual value, right, the entire value, right, so that should actually give us a true because, uh, right, I didn't separate that, so, because um, that was one value, so now it's true, right, so, okay, that's the uh, latitude, but uh, city of Dallas, Texas, so the same thing, we put this, pass the same value here, um, and we say not in, now we should also actually get a false because it actually is in, okay, as you guys are familiar, probably used to this by now, uh, another great thing about tuples, tuples are immutable, so you can't change the value, like I mentioned, it gives you an error, so let's go ahead and uh, pass this one for the city of Dallas. Uh, so we want to change the value, city of Dallas. We want to change that value. And let's go ahead and give it a latitude of, uh, let's see, another place in Texas. Um, let's see here. Called Holiday Lakes, Texas. So we want to give it the latitude for Holiday Lakes, Texas. And this is the latitude value, right, for Holiday Lakes, Texas. So if we try to print that, you can see it's already complaining. See, and you can see what it says, right? It says uh, tuples don't support item assignment. So it's not actually going to allow me to do that. We try to go for more information. Uh, it doesn't even allow us to do that. So if I try to print it, obviously it's going to throw an error. Uh, you can actually see the underlying error right there. So it shows you that tuples are immutable. You can't actually change the value. And we try to do it. You can see the error message here. It says city underscore Dallas, Texas. Uh, with the index position zero, and you can see the uh, value you try to assign to it, which is the uh, Holiday Lakes, Texas. Uh, it says type error tuple, object does not support item assignment, so we can't do anything about that. So just wanted to show you that that's, when you're looking at tuple data types, that's, it's immutable. A uh, few more things. Let's look at uh, slicing with tuples like we've looked at the past. And the reason I comment this out because it's going to block the rest of our code, so I wanted to kind of go ahead and comment, comment that out. Uh, let's see here. You can uh, Let's go ahead and do slicing. And let's just look at a few of these uh, options. Oops. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, print out the city of Dallas again. And let's go ahead and uh, if we do index, uh, excuse me, yeah, the, if we do the zero position all the way to the end, it's going to print out the entire, um, it's going to print out the entire uh, tuple right there, right? Because it goes from zero all the way to the end. Now, uh, if we do another option, and let's say we go with uh, the city of Dallas and this time we say the number one uh, what it should do is just probably it should this one if it's the number one it should print up to the number one so it should just print just the latitude only for this right as you can see just prints the latitude and if you notice on the output notice that comma up here just like we have this value when we printed out the single value which is up here right so the tuple normally is going to print out a, 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 a comma if it's just a value one um, value by itself uh, so let's look at one more thing when it comes to the slicing, just like we looked at list and uh, a variety of other data types. We passed the city of Dallas, Texas tuple. And remember we talked about using the neg negative one to kind of reverse that actual item, the item list within the uh, tuple. And that's what it's going to do here. You notice it, re it reversed it. It put the lat longitude first and the latitude next. You can look at that as like the XY axis here in this particular case. Uh, so let's look at a few more. Let's look at now. Let's look at a few methods. Uh, when it comes to tuples. Okay, so when it comes to our um, the index method, uh, if we just go back and pass this here, just so you guys can see it. So we go to the city of Dallas, uh, city underscore Dallas underscore Texas, and we pass, we hit dot. You can see we have the count and index method. And if we go ahead and select index method, what you want to, you're telling it, uh, you, what Python is uh, saying here, you want to pass the argument of the option um, of the item within that tuple so it can tell you what index it is. So if we go ahead and pass the value, which here is the latitude, uh, which we've kind of been working with the city of Dallas. Uh, if we go ahead and pass that value there, uh, let's go ahead and comment uh, this guy out. Do not have an interruption. It should print the index zero. Uh, actually, let me print that. Let that print out also so you guys can see that. Right? So you can see within this tuple for the city of Dallas, Texas, you can see what the value we passed to uh, as the argument for the index uh, method shows this index zero. So if we also print it, if we pass this value, uh, as you guys know, it's going to print out the uh, index one because that's the actual index for it. Okay. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the last example here for the other, only other method uh, for tuples. Uh, we also have the city of Dallas, Texas passed um, to the print function. And now we're using the dot count, which was the other method here. So dot count. All right, so we come to the dot count. Um, we pass, in this case, um, we're going to pass the uh, longitude. In this case, there's only one value for the longitude, as you can see. Because uh, the count method, again, it shows how many times an item appears in the tuple. Had it appear like three or four times, uh, whatever the case might be, uh, it's going to print the number of times it appears. So it counts how many times it actually finds that particular item. Okay? All right. So you can see here, um, again, for the city of Dallas, Texas, the uh, coordinate values, uh, for the value we passed to it, which is the longitude, it only appeared one time. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys, for today's video on tuples. I want you to practice, practice, practice. You advanced data types, practice list, create programs with them, practice dictionaries, create multiple programs, practice lit, uh, excuse me, tuples, create a lot of programs, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. We out. Testdemi.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out testdemi.com. See you soon in the next video. Peace.